Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Now we want to construct an octagon using only our set square. But this time we're using just only the 45 degree set square. Now let's say that the length of the octagon is 40 millimeter. Now what I will do is I'm going to take my um rule, my T square or my meter rule, and I'll draw an horizontal line this way. And I'll pick a point, point A, where I'm going to measure my 40 millimeter. So if I start from 7, 7 will be my 0, right? Then this will be 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'll end at 3, right? So I'll just stick in those two points. Now in this case here, I want to use my what? 45 degrees set square to draw. So when I place my 45 degrees set square on my T square, either I place it this way or I place it this way. I'm going to move it to what? To point A. As in point A here. I'm going to move it to point A. This way. You can see that. Now I'm going to draw my inclined line this way. And also I'll move it to what? Point B. This is my point B. I'm going to draw another inclined line this way so what i'll do is between a and b is 45 right so i'll just place it here i'll bisect this point and also what place it here i'll bisect this point so this point i'll call it point what point c then i'll call here point b if i want to now i'll just stick in these two points this way and I'll take in this point also this way. Now, what I'll do again is I'll still move my T square up to this point where there's an intercept of point C. I'll stand it this way, 90 degree. I'll move it to this point. Then I'll draw my vertical line. Right? I'll come here also. I'll move it to this point. I'm going to also draw my what? Vertical line. Is that again now what i'll simply do here is the same measurement of bc or ab is the same so this is my um bc right then i'll place it here i'll strike an arc i'll do the same thing here also i'll strike another arc so this will be my point d this will be h and this is my what my point g so i'm going to use my rule and i'm going to work taking it so you're taking it, you have this, and in taking it here, I also have this. So this is what, what I have here. Now the same thing I'll do also, I'll move my first square, my T square to this point, D. And when it is standing this way, if I move it to this point, I'm going to draw an inclined line this way. Here, and I also do the same thing at this point, G also. I will have here. Minding you, it must be what? It must be inclined. Now, I will use my compass also. You know that from B to B, D, from C to B, it's not as in A to B. So I'll place it here. I'll strike an arc here. And I'll place it here also. I'll strike an arc here. So where they meet, at this point, I'm going to what? Join it together. Like this. And I'll come here also. I'll join here together. After you've done that, you just take in this and you close here up with your rule. This point to this point. This way. Now this is our hexagon. Our octagon. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. By using just your 45 degrees S squared. So if you find the video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button.